YouTube, it's your boy. <clears throat> OGT man. Make sure to drink some water. And today, oh, you see my braids, braids back. Yes, sir, braids back just, just for one day. But yeah, today we got Bruce drop him off. Finally admits he was wrong. He apologized to High Your Rage by my boy JMB Fargo. You know, make sure to go subscribe to him. He dropped this three days ago. Well, not that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So Bruce Shopping Mall finally made his return to Twitch after about a year of streaming on an unfiltered quote-unquote competitor kick. This comes after a year that was very eventful and was even toxic at times. But in a turn of events, Bruce would finally own up to his mistakes. Get it, bro. I look like I am the kid. Because as black men, we supposed to be together. I that up, chat. I take that on the chin any any. Day. But we gonna get into it though. There's a few things I gotta speak on. On May 31st, 2023, Bruce Joppa Moth announced his signing to Kick. Streamers like XQC and Your Rage made the move to Kick shortly after, but Your Rage still streams on Twitch to this day. In his first stream, Bruce will go off on any and everyone he has spoke with. They they say sell out, sell out this, sell out that, sell out. Selling out on the street for five thousand dollars. If I walk up to him and say sell my for five thousand, on God, on God, you selling out. You know you is. So I don't understand, like, what the f do bro f be talking about selling out? You go to work every day. That's not a sellout. If they're my friends, then I feel like they should start, like, they should know, like, that isn't really that cool. And it could also lead into problems that don't need to be even, like, a problem. You feel me? Just because of content. That's not content. Content has been dead and you have been gassing the lamest. Yes. The lamest. The internet ain't real no more. That's one of the reasons why I went to kick. I started this doing monkey and being toxic. Nowadays, you can't even say what you want to say no more because, oh, oh, oh I don't want to uh, that. And all these, I'm like, oh, you're going to kick so racist. Uh, uh, uh. I don't give a about that. I was on Twitch for 10 years as a kid when it was the most racist. I've been getting called a since I was 13. Jump little boy. So what are you talking about? To make it when if you don't talk on my name, make make sense because a lot of you be talking and it don't even be making sense at all. Bruce made the move to kick for the freedom it gave him. Coming up, he always said anything he wanted to unapologetically, and around the golden era of YouTube, it was little to no consequences. For reasons I explained in previous videos, Bruce had a falling out with Kai around the time that he moved to kick, comparing Twitch to a slave plantation, with Kai being Twitch's slave. Aiden Ross would egg this on by baiting Kai into saying something controversial, and Kai obviously didn't like this. So it was basically a fake beef between kick and Twitch, with a real conflict being mixed within it. Kai, your rage, and Aiden had no real issues but bruce had issues with kai and it got worse after bruce's messages with his mods got leaked then y'all play blind to the eye that y'all want to play blind to bro been disrespecting me trying to little bro me for the longest and niggas want to talk about oh why i feel like little nigga why i feel like people trying to little bro me what <laughs> what y'all been you've been allowing your friend to i remember i remember this beef this beef was just stupid because of your rage and the way how he thought about shit you know which is, it's not, it's okay for everybody to have, like, their own opinions. But when you start trying to, you know, make some belittle somebody else because of their opinion, then that's when she can get out of hand. And this, this beef was, like, the stupidest shit ever. I'm not even gonna hold. This, this has got to be one of the stupidest beefs I done reminded myself of. Bad about me. I'll never let a nigga talk bad about my friend who I hang around. That's the boys. Lame ass. That's lame ass shit. You niggas can't call a spade for a spade, bro. Real shit, bro. Y'all can't, bro. Y'all niggas is lame. This shit has been going on for months, y'all. I know these niggas in real life, like I said, bro. Y'all niggas is not. Y'all don't know nothing. After the situation, Bruce will do his own thing, with Kick being a place he could chill with his supporters without having to filter his words. But not without some controversy that I admit was not Bruce's fault half the time. One thing that I would notice is that Bruce would criticize Kick for big issues on a platform, like viewbotting, for example. This is where the noticeable cracks started to show as far as him leaving Kick altogether. This time about Kirby got them views on Dutty body. How do y'all feel about that bar? Real mainly all the in here sucking my <laughs> No cap. Like, it's so crazy. It's so in front of y'all face and y'all just fake 
to like accept it. Fast forward to about a month ago, I covered another situation where Bruce went off on your rage in his community for various reasons. This ultimately turned into Bruce going off on another streamer annoying TV for reacting to my video on the conflict and talks crazy about annoying sickle cell condition. Bruce drop him off his back, crash out on your favorite streamer. I never once disrespected you. You acted like a emotional bitch. Can I just you? <laughs> Blessings, bitch. Look, 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 look. Let me tell you something, rap. Let me tell you something, rap. I'm gonna kick shit like this, chat. I will punch a fucking hole in your chest, nigga. Watch who the fuck you talking to. I'm not finna yell back and forth for the nigga that got sickle cell. I will put you in a fucking crisis, nigga. That is fucked up. Why? Why would you even say that? Why? Why would you? I right. beef aside, nigga. Why? Why would you say some shit like that? Like that is so weird. Why would you bring that nigga thing he got going on up? You're weird as fuck for that, Bruce. Even though this, you may have apologized, but you're still weird as fuck for even bringing it up. Understand me? The fact that you can even see the niggas who talking shit about me makes my point valid enough for you to hop off my mother. Dick. Annoying responded with a diss track which wasn't really that bad for his standards. Bruce responded on Twitter with a video of Max B and people hinted at him making a diss track of his own but it turned out to be someone else's song which was actually his artist. In his return stream to about 40,000 viewers, Bruce says that he's grateful to kick but calls out the people who view by. I was always able to stream on Twitch. The, the who never stopped watching know that or paid attention to smart people not the kids you know know that obviously. What I don't like is how people feel so comfortable to speak on my business when they don't speak to me in general. And obviously, you know, I handled it behind the scenes, obviously. But yeah, Trainwreck said something about me losing a deal. No, I didn't take the second deal because they was trying to make me sign an NDA chat. And you know, I am not going. But it's all love to kick. It's all love to kick because you know what's crazy? They're still giving new and up and coming people opportunity. And they gave me one of the best opportunities I've ever accomplished ever in my life thanks to kick i'm able to build the deo fortress i'm able to purchase my first acre of land i will forever be in debt to kick but y'all got some is on there man and a lot of them viewers ain't real so stop view buying everybody in the streaming industry stop view buying bro like i'm, I'm talking to y'all as a streamer you know who i'm talking to too bro Stop trying to make y'all selves seem bigger than what y'all is bro just work for that shit gang bruce drop him off is at 300 viewers then you got an Nobody gives a about. They send out a tweet, they get in 500 likes, and this ain't hating. Bitch, this is speaking the real. Nobody gives a about them. Nobody cares. They're really not known other than TikTok clips because they pay to get posted on TikTok because the kick clipping system is garbage. They just 10,000 viewers, 20,000 viewers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them niggas to post on Instagram and Twitter chat. That's how you see the real on oh, everything. Bruce follows this up by saying that the last year on kick was probably one of his worst. Because I done seen the worst side of it, and I done seen the best side of it. The worst side being on kick for the year. I'm not going to lie to you. It's the worst time I've ever had in streaming. The beginning was cool, but I learned so much behind the scenes from like being behind the scenes and knowing shit, and it just kind of my love for streaming being on that site, if I'm being honest with you, because I got lazy. And yeah, you probably seen the number that I was making an hour. I ain't going to say if it's true or not, because that ain't none of y'all goddamn business. But you know what I'm saying? It it killed my motivation for it because it, it was no creativity within it. It's just do the crazy or you're lame or it's like go outside and argue with a with a with or you're lame <laughs> or it suck on stream or you're quilly why are you not sucking you're quilly put in your mouth you're quilly and probably the most important part of his return he basically owns up to his mistakes get it bro i look like i am the kid because as black men we supposed to be together i that up chat i take that on the chin any any i'm just glad he owned up to his, him being wrong that i I don't, you know, the beef was stupid. You know, they could have hashed that out a different way. He, uh, excuse me. I'm just glad that they, you know, got past it. Hey, I that up. I know that. But don't keep egging on and like trying to make me seem like I killed somebody, bro. Damn. I kind of miss what we had, bro. No, I'm being for real. <laughs> y'all be laughing. Y'all be laughing. I'm so dead ass, bro. Like, 
I, you know, I can admit my wrongs, Trey. You know what I'm saying? Bruce then talks about how he's been doing a lot of reflecting lately and shows love to a lot of people, including Kai and Rage. Yeah, respect to everybody is love to everybody. Love to OTK, love to kick, love to shit. Even Miss Kiff, bro. Even Miss Kiff. Like, I, I just been thinking about when I take a break, y'all, I think about everything that, that happened. You feel me? Like, that's when I take time and, and, and think, you know, like Dante. Dante ain't never stopped hitting me up. A P Chris. Love you, boy. You the one. <laughs> you the one. Um, Duke. Love Duke. Uh, it's love to Kai. It's love to Rage. It's love to everybody, chat. Like, I really genuinely don't give a f anything that y'all think y'all know on the internet, but I promise to God on everything I love, I want everybody to succeed. I'm not even gonna lie. This is an unexpected change of tune, but I can respect the growth. I feel like if all sides eventually move past it, then there shouldn't be any more gas in it from the outside looking in. I, for one, never hated Bruce, but I gave my thoughts and opinions on things that I see on the internet as I'm allowed to. Speaking on things I noticed, I saw comments saying that Bruce was only doing this to get back in good standing with Kai and others. My response to that is, how you know they haven't hashed it out already? Just saying. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Bruce is back on Twitch. And he's turning over a new leaf, it seems. I'm saying, hope everything goes well for him. Like I said, appreciate, appreciate you, Fargo, for, for the information. And yeah, I hope everything does go back. And even if, you know, that these niggas literally got each other's phone numbers. Like, come on now, bro. They could hash that shit out any, any day without us even knowing, bro. So, for all those people who was over there hanging, come on now. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, come subscribe. Um, yeah, let's go see. Yep, my boy back. Bruce Bipolar again. He a little bit. He always knew he was wrong. He just was too toxic to admit. Yeah, that and that's that's okay for certain people, you know. You once you own up to it, then you'll be able to grow. But if you still thinking that you're right, then it's just like, how will you grow as a person? Yeah, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. Beauty.